Today is February 11th, and there is a docu-series starting on Showtime that has been very controversial. It is called Everything's Gonna Be All White. No, that's what I said. White. Not all right. All white. Wow. And it doesn't look like it's been too all right for the trailer... I'm going to play the trailer. I'm reacting to the trailer. I want to get your reaction to the trailer. What do you think? Up, down. And let me let me go ahead and bring... I'm just going to make this real brief. Less than 10 minutes. I hope and I pray. Let me go to my screen share. I'm going to... I've got the trailer clipped off to share with you. But I want to bring up the actual video on YouTube. The trailer for this. And show you... It's not going too well. Let me get my glasses. It's not going that well so far. Praise God. It's not going that well. It's not looking that good. Because it has 2,448,922 views. If you can see right here. 2,9. 2,448,922 views. It's got a dislike for me. But it's only got 2,000 likes. And let me also show you. The comments are turned off. <laughs> so I don't think it's been too all right for this trailer. And I don't think this attitude is hitting the mainstream that I don't think the mainstream attitude of the trailer is going to go over that well with anyone of any ilk. And I just want to share the trailer itself with you because it airs tonight, February 11th. I don't want to be real late on it, okay? Praise God. Warning, this trailer may trigger white people. Okay, okay, that's shocking enough. But I think it triggered more than white people. I think it triggers people in general. I think it triggers good people. I don't think that it's got that that well of a review. Not with 2,000 likes. Did I mention that? 2,000 2, likes out of 2 million views. Let me share with you. I got one awesome video with 189,000 views that has 7,000 likes. Just to put this into perspective. So this has not been well received. So this is the trailer for everything is going to be all white. Do you think this is all right? Drop a comment. Again, like, subscribe, and share if you care. I think what annoys me most about white people is when they pretend like they're the victim. <laughs> Disturbing. It's begins with disturbing and I don't think it just disturbs white people I, th I think it disturbs di disturbs people with a conscience period this is on Showtime though this is this is Showtime original exclusive three I think it's three episodes what's also annoying is when they you know when they kill us what is fragile that's damaging <laughs> I'm serious like that, that is helpful. That is what this nation needs. And these movie stars are all going out. They're not experiencing anything remotely like that. This is, this is terrible. About whiteness, when everything has been constructed around it. Every part of who I am has. Oh, my my flag backdrop, my flag flag boundary. That's so. Maybe it would trigger leftist Marxist ideologies maybe it'll trigger somebody it seems to trigger the flag which many people to whom it represents freedom it represents diversity it represents inclusion it represents progress the progress we've made in this nation that everyone wants to come to this nation that people are literally blowing down the borders to come here um, but it triggers these it triggers these individuals been distorted or criminalized it's really just a bunch of white lies <laughs> so this man is apparently saying he's a liar 
but he just wants to be inclusive of everyone else who's probably honest and <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute Patriots, you're ridiculous. So, of course, part of this documentary and part of this leftist idea is the, what they deem an insurrection. One day, Jan, what was it, January 6th, what happened to the Capitol? Shouldn't happen. Went too far. But they, they really do go into overdrive to forget that Portland, Oregon had a, a part of the city taken over and declared independent. They totally forget cities taken hostage to an ideology. Cities in literally burning in America. Cities literally where the police department just literally st stood down. And that those weren't inter insurrections. That cost dozens of lives, millions of dollars worth of damage. But inclusive with this everything's going to be all white, we've got the insurrection added to the stew of divisive leftist rhetoric. One of the definitions of American whiteness. One of the definitions of American whiteness. Wait for it. Wait for it. And of course you got a truck here with you know, you just see these everywhere, don't you? <laughs> you just, <clears throat> I haven't seen a truck like this <clears throat> in the state of Illinois, period. I only see these on YouTube and in documentaries of this ilk. Uh, Confederate flags. Okay. The definition, she's getting ready to say, the definition of American whiteness. This is ignorance. Really? This would... Could you imagine a mainstream show that would get away with that type of rhetoric in reverse? But this is... This is publicized. Showtime. Showtime documentary that airs Friday, February 11th. White people, we are not your problem. You are. Should. <laughs> okay, he's got every. Th this whole ideology has everyone figured out. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, White people today feel any responsibility for slavery? <laughs> Hell yeah! White Jesus or Black Jesus? Jesus. Was this is so old. This is so old. This is so ancient. And down in the description of this video, I got a video already with several thousand views on it where we discuss white Jesus and this is so insane that the people who always bring up white Jesus never bring up African American black Jesus they never bring up Hispanic Jesus they never bring up any one of the other nationalities whom people have taken and depicted to look like them everybody's done it <laughs> it's just the white Jesus that gets brought up and if you know no one understand the message of the gospel it's not about his race it's about his message and it's about the problem he solved for the entire human race not white think of geography ain't no way Jesus walked around with blonde hair and blue eyes is there any campaign <laughs> is there a campaign going on to convince people he did I mean you're <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! But you never stop here. You never, you're never going to hear the end of it. Never, not with this, not with this ideology, not with this mindset, not with critical race theory, not with neo-Marxism. White culture fears the end of the world. For us as Native people, not really. Nope, not at all. Because, well, he's saying white culture. He's not even bringing in. Christians to it, but it's not the end. It's just the beginning. But this, listen to this nonsense right here. End of the world already happened like multiple times. Where are you? <laughs> where Where are you? Are you in a virtual reality? If it happened, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> that That's what the end means. Oh, man. this this proves 
What a fantasy this whole thing is made up of imagination. Symbols and monuments, these are mementos of racism. Bring that statue down. Put up a TCBY yogurt or something. Everybody can get behind. You know, the danger of pulling down these monuments is forgetting history. My father used to say, those who forget history are doomed to repeat it. And this type of identity rhetoric, this type of identity politics, is very reminiscent of what was done in Nazi Germany. When, you, when an entire people group was demonized. But the way this is happening, wow. It's getting bad. <laughs> the truth has to be told about history. No, that's not what they want. They want a revisionist history. They want a revisionist truth, not anything that reflects the totality and accuracy of truth. They're rewriting history. That's why you pull down monuments, and that's why you remove historians from the equation because you're going to re you're going to revise you're revising it. We have to make sure that these stories are told from our perspective. No, I mean, I, to me, the importance is that the, the totality of stories is told in factual reference to where we've been and what we are now. Historical accuracy, not just from the way I perceive it or the way I feel things happen or what I feel should happen. It's, this is a totally feelings-based message. There's always hope, you know what I'm saying? We don't give up. It's about obliterating systemic and institutionalized racism. It's about ob obliterating America. That's the goal, uh, to obliter obliterate a people who have progressively moved in the direction of the highest ideals of the Constitution. Not perfectly a progressive improvement towards the high ideals of the Constitution. This is a wild place, y'all. It's a wild place. I know Harry... This is nonsense. <laughs> this is just glorifying uh, nonsense. Harriet and Frederick be up there just like, <laughs> what is that? They would. There's a lot of people who fought for what we have and where we are today and even a better place than they want to be who would be turning over in their graves to see what people are doing and what people are claiming that they never would have seen it the way people present day see it. They would be aghast at what we've turned into in this country. they going to That's it. Tonight's the night. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, share, post a comment. Kick it back. But <clears throat> Like I said, with uh, 2,000 likes, with 2.5 million views, it doesn't look like it's quite as well received or going quite the way they wanted it to go. Let me know what you think. Peace and love. In Jesus' name, amen.